Hey guys, this is Gary. The WRX acronym was first applied to Subaru's rally superstar, the Impreza. It was the start of that performance-oriented model. Then, an STI version of the WRX appeared, increasing performance. The turbocharged boxer engine and all-wheel drive configuration have made it a favorite amongst car enthusiasts. This video will be on the history of the WRX. Fuji Heavy Industries was a collaboration of five companies in 1953. The merging of the companies provided opportunities with multiple business markets, one of them being cars, hence the creation of Subaru. The name Subaru sounds weird, but means unite in Japanese and references to the Pallades Star Cluster, which can be seen on the Subaru logo today and represents the merger of the five companies to create Fuji Heavy Industries. Subaru was initially only known in the 1950s as a small Japanese car manufacturer and decades later in 1972 onwards for its boxer engine and all-wheel drive passenger car offerings. It wasn't until the company got involved with the World Rally Championship that its performance cars started getting noticed. The decision to use a boxer engine allowed Subaru to offer a car with a lower center of gravity since the engine sat lower than a traditional inline four-cylinder, which limited body roll. The engine is symmetric, creating better weight distribution not only from front to rear, but also from side to side. The boxer engine design also mitigates vibration since the pistons are opposed to each other, which also eliminated a heavier counterweighted crankshaft. The all-wheel drive offerings later received technology to distribute torque, which made them more attractive to customers in wetter, icier, or off-road climates, and of course, performance enthusiasts whom were seeking ultimate traction. The first appearance of the WRX occurred with the first generation Subaru Impreza, which sold in Japan in November of 1992 as a front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive configuration. The first generation had an 8-year time frame in which there were many variations that occurred. It was sold as a sedan in the beginning with a wagon offered in 1993 and a coupe in 1995. The front-wheel drive was later removed from the model making the Impreza all-wheel drive specific. They are distinguished by chassis codes with GC8 representing the sedan and international coupe the GF8 representing the hatchback and the GM representing the coupe for the US. The USA never received the first generation Impreza WRX or STI. It wasn't until 1992 that we saw the first WRX trim when Subaru also moved from using the larger Legacy to the smaller rally designed Impreza WRX. Fuji Heavy Industries created Subaru Technica International or STI in 1988 to handle all performance aspects of their motorsports activities, especially focusing on the World Rally Championship. Subaru also teamed up with the British motorsports company ProDrive in 1989 to help make them more competitive. ProDrive is an independent motorsports company that provides engineering, design, development, and management. The Impreza WRX trim offered rally-inspired technology, all-wheel drive, viscous center and rear differential, stiffer suspension, and a 210 horsepower to 250 horsepower turbocharged boxer engine. An RA version was offered which was a stripped down version that was lighter and more robust targeted for motorsports competition. The Impreza 555 appeared in 1994. It was repaired by racing specialist ProDrive and was based off of a WRX which included mostly mechanical upgrades such as a blueprinted engine, upgraded transmission, upgraded suspension, and power increase to 300 horsepower to compete in the World Rally Championship. The Impreza 555 eventually transitioned to the production model STI. The STI road-going cars received forged pistons, better intercooler, carbon fiber strut bars, suspension, and drivetrain upgrades to make it more durable compared to the WRX. Also a unique feature to the STI is the driver-controlled center differential to electromechanically distribute the torque at the wheels. The STI is most popular for its rally blue, gold, and pink paint scheme. I mean, cherry blossom red for the STI's badge. Cherry Blossom Red is symbolic in Japanese culture and tied to the national symbol, coming of spring, and associated with masculinity. 
The Cherry Blossom Red was used in earlier STIs from 1994 to 2000 and considered more of a pink. Pink for most Western societies is considered weak or feminine. 2005 and later versions were more of a hot pink and then 2008 and newer became red. Cherry Blossom trees can swing from pink to red, so this may be where the pink and red color variation occurred. It may also be based on the location the car would be sold. The Impreza WRX, Legacy, and Forester models have all seen STI versions in limited numbers as performance trends. The Impreza WRX was most popular for its involvement in the World Rally Championship in which it transitioned Subaru from a Japanese passenger car manufacturer into the performance car arena. Subaru won its first manufacturer's championship and first driver's championship in the WRC with Colin McRae in 1995, then only the manufacturer's championship in 1996 and later in 1997. The achievement would not go unnoticed. Subaru released 200 limited edition Colin McRae WRXs in June of 1995, prepared by ProDrive commemorating his success. Another special edition Subaru Impreza Catalunya was released for 1996 after winning the second championship. The third championship in 1997 caused Subaru to release the 333 limited edition Subaru Impreza Terzo. 1998 though brought out the ultimate Subaru Impreza named the Impreza 22B, which in hex converts to 555 in decimal. It's reminiscent to the first Impreza 555 and was only sold in a limited 400 units in a wide body two door coupe form with a 280 horsepower 2.2 liter engine, adjustable rear wing and aggressive aero to celebrate Subaru's third world rally championship and their 40th anniversary. It was basically a street driven WRC car and only offered in World Rally Blue. The 22B sold all 400 units within 30 minutes with an additional 24 units for export markets and is one of the rarest Impreza's. Subaru's rally driver Colin McRae eventually left in 1998 to drive for Ford's new Ford Focus WRC. The second generation Impreza was introduced in August 2000 which also continued the WRX legacy. It was dubbed the New Age. The term Bug Eye was also used for the first iteration, which wasn't really well received prior to receiving the first revision in mid-year 2003 to the Blob Eye, and then a second and final revision in June 2005 to the new corporate design jet intake and wings, also known as the Hawkeye. This look was also controversial. The sedan became larger compared to the hatchback, which was still similar in size to its predecessor, which placed it in a different Japanese vehicle classification. Even though they were the same model car, the coupe did not appear for the second generation. There was also rebadged engineering found with the 2005 to 2006 Saab 92X, which was due to GM owning them at the time and also having a 20% stake in Subaru. It wasn't as successful as hoped for, and GM eventually sold 11.4% back to Fuji Industries in a share buyback deal. 8.4% was sold to Toyota, hence <clears throat> the 8.6 and BRZ collaboration. The first iteration of the 2000 WRX was also offered with a 280 horsepower STI variant for other countries except the USA, which didn't receive neither. The most notable event though for the second generation was the introduction of the WRX for the US market in 2002 with an STI appearing in 2004. The USA version STI is most notable for its 300 horsepower 2.5 liter turbocharged boxer motor and durable 6 speed manual transmission. Subaru won the World Rally Championship drivers title in 2001 and 2003. They released the UK 300 to celebrate their WRC championship in 2001 and in 2003 there were 500 special edition Subaru Impreza WR1s released. There weren't any championships since 2003 but Subaru decided to make a limited 320 special RB320s in 2006 as a tribute to driver and champion Richard Burns who passed away a year earlier due to a brain tumor. The third generation Impreza was introduced in 2007 including the WRX. The Impreza was initially offered as a five-door hatchback which replaced the wagon and then a sedan in 2008. 
The body was larger and noise, vibration, and safety mechanisms were cleverly put into place which allowed the weight to be similar to the previous generation. McPherson struts were used up front with a multi-link suspension in the rear. This generation WRX was earlier reported to have softer suspension and later received tweaks in 2009 to make it more competitive which included a power bump to 265 horsepower. The SCI was introduced in 2008 as only a hatchback with wider track and aluminum suspension components. The 2011 WRX received the SCI wide body kit which most SCI enthusiasts became confused because it was the reason why they bought the STI to separate themselves from the WRX. But that wasn't the only surprise as 2011 was also the return of the STI sedan. The WRX and STI sold with this chassis until 2014 despite this impressive model discontinuing in 2011 and moving to another chassis the following year. This was the start of the separation of the Impreza model and WRX trim. On December 16, 2008, Subaru announced that it would no longer be competing in the World Rally Championship. The decision was based upon Subaru meeting their marketing objectives and the result of the economic downturn at this time. The fourth generation Impreza arrived in 2012 for the world. There is no Impreza WRX or SCI for this generation. The Subaru WRX was introduced in 2015 and considered its own model even though it's still using the same outgoing 4th generation Impreza platform. The Impreza name has been separated. It received visual changes and also a new 2 liter engine has now replaced the aging EJ20 used in previous generations. A twin scroll turbocharger mounted in the lower front of the engine creates a low center of gravity whereas previous generations were found on the side of the engine bay. The transmission option is now a 6-speed manual or CVT with paddle shifters. The 2015 WRX STI engine and drivetrain remain the same with the 2.5 liter turbocharged Boxster engine and 6-speed manual transmission with minor tweaks to the ECU. It's only sold in sedan form only with no more hatchback or wagon versions. The differences from previous generations is the stiffer chassis and suspension updates. It received a revision in 2017 which mainly consisted of brakes and rotors, 19 inch wheels and aesthetic changes to the exterior and interior. The WRX and WRX STI will remain on this platform until the next generation in which they are suspected to have their own platform. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the history of the Subaru WRX and STI. It survived through its rally days of the 90s and is still successful today compared to its competition whom have changed direction or been discontinued. Like and share if you found this video informational. Also, browse my channel for more videos and subscribe for future content. I'll see you in the next one.